What up, guys? It's your boy. Yeah, you've seen the title right. I'm going to talk about Star Wars, baby. <laughs> I don't know. I love Star Wars. Um, when I was first adopted and I came here, the first the first couple movies I watched was Cars and Polar Express. And then you know, a bunch of whole bunch of movies. But I was I first uh, watched, you know... When I saw Star Wars The Clone Wars, I'm like, mm, this looks nice, you know? Like, mm. and then my dad was like, mm, you gotta watch 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. And I fell in love with Star Wars. Fell in love with it. Um, I'm coming on here. And this is my opinion, my opinion only. Y'all don't have to agree with me. No one has to agree with me. Or if you do, you know, subscribe. I don't know. I don't know what to say. If you do, then yeah. And I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one. But if you don't agree, stop watching. Okay, I feel like if four, yeah, four, five, six, one, two, three, did it perfectly. My favorite thing of all Star Wars is the clones and the stormtroopers. And when seventy nine came, was the first orders. Those costumes, I love them. I always wanted them. When I was a kid, I had a clone trooper outfit. And the blaster, a little blaster that made the noise. I loved it. And then I had Anakin and Darth Vader. And I had it all. You know, I still have some Star Wars stuff. Like I have Clone Trooper and Stormtrooper. And all those kind of Troopers Funko Pops. I'm still trying to collect more. Because I know there's more out there. I also have a bunch of Star Wars Lego. And that was my main thing I wanted for my birthday every year. Was Lego, Lego, Lego. <laughs> Never asked for money. If I got money, I would buy Lego. <laughs> I was addicted to Lego. Addicted. And I will still, uh, in my future house, with my future wife and kids, I will have my man cave. And that shit will be filled with Star Wars Lego. See, I have a whole bunch. <laughs> but I love Star Wars. I've watched every single Star Wars. I've watched, I watched it in order they came out and then kind of in order as you should watch them like you know before before one two three four five six and everything in between you know i've watched it in that order as well uh i feel like i feel like seven eight nine I, I really didn't like it like it was good there was some great parts in there i just didn't like how quickly they killed off the cast i understand carrie fisher you know they had to kind of write her off because you know she did die in real life to a heart attack sadly and so like and she was princess leia and it's like okay well you, it makes sense that you might have to you know cut her off because she's that dead in real life unless you're gonna pay the family to you know put her face and put it in with the ai and all that stuff could do that but they didn't want to do it because it's disney i feel i feel like disney's fucking it up though i feel like disney's fucking up because if you watched the ceo interview if you watch ceo interview she said i want to make men feel uncomfortable watching this i could guarantee you most of your fans are men and the reason why there's a lot of clones that were men is because they cloned a man. <laughs> they cloned a man. <laughs> so, duh, they're all going to be men. Right? There was some powerful girl Jedis. If you watch the Clone Wars and if you watched it, there was powerful girl Jedis. And there was powerful Sith as well. I just don't understand why they're trying to make it more powerful because you got to understand you can make someone powerful but you can't just make them perfect at everything because no one's perfect and no one was meant to be perfect no one was perfect in star wars you just put a girl in there and make them powerful the same thing you can't, you can't just put a, a guy in there and he's perfect at everything he doesn't mess up he's not messed up in the head he can throw us like can't do that you can't like you can't mess up timeline you can't mess up the star wars as a whole because if you do mess up star wars disney and i'm telling you right now if you mess up star wars disney your revenue will go down the drain and star wars will be a depleted project until 
someone buys it back and redoes it and a fan does it because i feel like if you listen to us fans you're gonna have a better outcome as if you don't listen to us because we know what we want to watch okay like we watch the man Lauren thinks it's perfect you know you know you had power you had a powerful woman that was a bounty that was a bounty hunter as well and it's like she was always in there she's always she was always part of the star wars series that they bring back like that was good that was amazing putting it all in and putting mandalorian in, in and grogu and all that stuff i was perfect you nailed that you nailed andor too he just i feel like but i feel like andor wasn't best because he was just every episode he was just at the wrong place at the wrong time there was like that was the same thing for every episode <laughs> so i mean like he's at the same place the stormtrooper finds him this is he's at a place he goes to a prison in the middle of water <laughs> like okay and yeah i love star wars and i feel like there's we have to save star wars someone's got to go out there buy us the rights from star wars again towards lucas come back please i'll make your son please sound but like do something <laughs> like it's it's not it's not like you can add you you can add like gay jedis uh, but you can't make them more powerful than everyone else because they're gay it doesn't make sense that's like telling me that's like telling me I can't be powerful because I'm only half black. But that guy's whole black, so he's way more powerful than me. That's like if they, in one, two, three, they made Mice Windu unstoppable. I, we all know Mouse, all Star Wars fans know Mice Windu ain't fucking dead. <laughs> he got lost out, but there's a lot of reason to believe he didn't die because he's a Jedi after all. So there's there's, a, there's stories right there, Disney, right there you can do. Um, the Mice Windu story of after she gets thrown off and he obviously does, obviously, you know, he's a little fucked up because, you know, he's been struck by lightning and thrown out a window. <laughs> but, you know, he's still alive. And people very much agree with that. He's still alive. Same reason why people believed Boba Fett was still alive. And then, and then they made the Boba Fett series. Same thing right there. It's like, it's like people believe all this stuff. And if you listen to the fans, they're going to watch. We watched the Boba Fett story because we knew he was alive. We knew that man was alive. And like, I feel like if you listen to the fans, we're going to watch. Y'all are getting sit down. The Accolade series. And except that you're going to introduce a lightsaber whip. A lightsaber whip. I don't think so. You should like just stick to the weapons that you started off with. And also having having that one that one guy that does you you some might call you me Sith. And it and it's like you just killed everyone. It's like really. And like there's no like eyes that like prove that he was evil either. Like they they miss that part <laughs> i get if you didn't want to wear the contacts but like <laughs> yeah i just feel like they gotta do something about it someone's gotta save it before they go to before it goes to shit because you if you mess up 10 no one's gonna watch 11 12 i can guarantee you we're gonna see the thing and like, no one's gonna watch it in cheaters. Everyone's gonna go watch it on a on a totally legal movie site. <laughs> like, like it's just like I don't know. I feel like as a whole, Star Wars needs to needs to rethink you can bring back ray you can bring back finn you can bring back that crew because there are people people do love bba and poe and finn 
and Ray, like some a lot of people like Ray as well. So they just didn't like how fast she became a Jedi. Like we clearly it was a couple years between 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 seven eight nine, and we could tell like came a little, little, too, little too fast everyone else got their skills when they were a kid and they grew up a little too fast just a little you gotta stretch it out that's how the if you're gonna stretch it if you want to do it between each movies make the timeline a little bit longer have her training and then like you can make a side series if you want about her getting stronger 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 it's like is you gotta follow you have to follow what the fans love and what the fans want, I feel like. And it's like, we're going to save... It's a way to save Star Wars, that. And yeah. I love Star Wars, I love sports. You can clown me all you want for loving Star Wars. Love it. I'm not going to make me stop watching it. Whenever, when the Mandalorian 3 season... Comes out every every episode if it's on Wednesday or Thursday. I'm gonna say fuck up. I need to go watch <laughs> new new episode. Need to need to go need to go fucking watch. <laughs> but yeah, um, more videos on the way. You know, Project Twenty Seven. There won't be anything s soon since. You know, I need to get money first. Once I do, let's see some vlogs. Um, um, yeah, and FC24. I just haven't had the motivated to play it. I really, like, I'm not a really sick soccer dude. So I haven't really had the motivation to play it. And once I do, I will record. So don't get that twisted. And yeah, I've been ranting a lot more because there's just a lot of stuff on my mind. A lot of stuff I've seen. It was like the one thing I care about deeply in, in the movie and franchise is Star Wars. And I just wanted to say my piece on how to fix, how do you fix Star Wars? You let the fans, listen to the fans. We know what we want. We know what we want to watch. Let us take over. We'll happily take over. I'll happily get myself into more debt to fix it. To make another series. I got a perfect. A perfect. Perfect. Uh, Jedi series. It's called. The Lost Jedi. Perfect. I'm not going to spoil anything. Because people can take it. But yeah. Got a lot, I've been doing a lot of thinking. Thank y'all for a lot of support. I really appreciate y'all. Once I get enough. And I start making money. And I get my blacksmith job. I will be. Giving away stuff to y'all. So don't get that tested. All the people that were first. And the people that have been messaging me. And giving me comments. And hyping me up. Appreciate you. My friends come first. And then it's you guys. And then. And then I'll do the random thing. But I know y'all. Y'all get. Y'all. I want to definitely not be biased. <laughs> definitely. And yes. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. And yes. I got a new haircut. See ya.